Charlie Van here with KDUX TV. I'm here with director Frank Mosley of Hold and star of the film, Robbie Story. Guys, great film. Very, very intense. Thank you. Was it tough to make this film on an emotional level, seeing the circumstance in the film? Me? Oh. Yeah. Is that an actor question? <laughs> uh, it, it takes You know, but uh, you might be surprised in between uh, scenes, not so much in between takes, but in between scenes we, we had a lot of fun, you know, we kept it light, it was a great atmosphere, but uh, you know, once the camera was rolling we were totally in it, we lived in it. How did you prepare? Yeah. <laughs> how, how did you prepare for this role? Well, I grew a beard, first of all. Uh, actually, that was a, something Frank and I talked about. That, uh, I wanted to look older. He wanted me to look older. Um, so, <laughs> that's hair, not... Hair, hair. Yeah, I had to part my hair. Never do that again. Um, you know, Frank gave me a list of objectives and questions to ask myself to make sure that my character stayed differentiated from my real identity, you know, so I didn't start just dialing it in at any given point. Plus, he's just, he's on you. I mean, he's meticulous. He's right there, masterful, in control the whole time. So he doesn't let you get out of line. And if uh, his favorite word on set was interesting, and when he said interesting after a take, we knew that that meant do it again <laughs> and do it better. So. Now, Frank, did you already have the shots in mind when going into this production? Uh, well, as, as we were actually writing and conceptualizing Robbie work on the script, and so like we were coming up with ideas for scenes, he would go off and write the dialogue, and then I would go home and make my shot sheet. And then so like every time he'd have a new scene, then like I'd look at it and say, well, I said, this is how I want to kind of shoot this scene, and how would it be best to, trans to kind of uh, do like a transitional shot from this sequence here into the next one. And so the fact that we shot the movie in, in two pieces, actually two, as a, we shot 50 minutes of the film first, and then we actually shot an additional 30 minutes later. That gave us some room to kind of tweak what we really wanted, like any other scenes of development with the characters that we thought would be important. Question for both of you guys. What message do you think the audience will leave uh, after seeing this film? Go ahead. That there aren't always easy answers, but that communication is key. And sometimes the fact that you can communicate that you can't communicate and recognizing that and realizing that everybody loves in very different ways and Alan Marsh even though he may be oppressive at times he means well and so everybody tries to cope after a tragedy in a different way and they try to love in their own way that they know how and in the aftermath of a tragedy it doesn't matter how you do that it's going to be difficult and the other person won't always understand hope I have beat that word to death, but I will keep doing it. I will keep saying it. It's about hope for me. It always has been. And I hope that's what they take away from it, among other things that he just said. Now, will you two be working on another project together? Absolutely. Uh, Robbie is one of, hands down, the best collaborators you could ever ask for. I mean, anytime I have any kind of concept or idea, I'll pitch it to him because he's an amazing critic, an amazing writer. And so, I mean, I can't think of not working with him after this. This is just the beginning. So I can't even imagine all the other projects that we're going to do. And then on the same token, we each have our separate projects that we want to do on the side. Uh, but either way, there will always be some form of collaboration, whether it's small or big, with every project. So. That's good. You got it. You covered it. You covered it. And, and finally, what advice do both of you have for up-and-coming filmmakers here in Dallas? This is my favorite question. Give me your answer. Uh, keep writing, keep making films, keep acting, because just by sheer exercise alone, as long as you, it's like riding a bicycle, and you got to keep the axles greased, you got to keep the gears moving, and as long as you're constantly working at it, you can do no wrong, because you're only going to get better and better and better, and as long as you never think that you're come to a place where you are at the very best, because that's not the case, you will always have room to grow. Lawrence Olivier said on his dying day that he still had so much more to learn and that there was a lifetime of things he could learn about acting as he was dying in his bed. And I think that goes true for every art and every craft that one has. So just keep working no matter what. Now I feel like I can't use my Lawrence Olivier quote. <laughs> no, uh, s start with the story. Make sure you're telling a good story. Make sure you're doing it for the right reasons because you're passionate about it. But yeah, seriously, a, a solid script is the foundation for your entire movie.
uh, we had a professor actually at UTA that said you can make a bad movie from a good script but you cannot make a good movie from a bad script so that's that's always where we start is with story Robbie story. <laughs> come on well guys thank you for your time thank you thank so you. much thanks for having us